What is the ratio of men to women? This is women to men. Let's talk numbers because at the end of the day, that's what ratios are all about. Globally, the ratio of men to women is pretty close, but it does fluctuate slightly depending on where you're looking. For instance, in Portland, Oregon, where I live, you might see a different dynamic than what's happening on the other side of the world. On average, there are approximately 101 men for every 100 women. This is just a slight skew towards men. However, if we invert that ratio to express it as women to men, we have about 99 women for every 100 men. While that might seem pretty even Stevens, the devil is in the demographic details. These ratios aren't static and they're not uniform across all age groups. For example, at birth, typically more males are born than females. This is a phenomenon seen pretty much worldwide. But as we age, the ratio tends to even out, and then, due to factors like higher male mortality rates in many countries, it starts to lean more towards females. It's key to remember these numbers can be influenced by a myriad of factors, including sex-selective practices in some cultures, wars, migration patterns, and even health policies. So yes, while the global ratio is almost even, localized figures can tell a very different story. And since we're talking about human beings here, those stories can be as varied and complex as we are. When looking at ratios, it's not just a headcount. It's an insight into the social, cultural, and even economic landscapes of a population. The dynamics of a big city in the Pacific Northwest can vary wildly from a small rural community in another part of the world. Keep that in mind next time you're sifting through census data or just casually pondering demographics.